Hello, my name is Gluvako Nikola and I will introduce you to interesting technique of light analysis in 3ds Max. This is, I believe, the first program that offers the light analysis. It uses graphic card to simulate the light conditions and the phenomena created by light. In this video, you will be able to see how you use simple technique to have an idea about the light strength in scene. Since I am an industrial engineer, I use this technique of, for ergonomics analysis of light distribution. <coughs> this preliminary phase is just to help us set up parameters for further renderings, which will give us full picture of light distribution. I will load the scene that I created earlier for this showcase. As you can see, it has simple objects with maps on them, which can tell us their size. Since we are using photometric lights, we must make sure that units are right, so we can get realistic results. Unit setup. Here you can see that you have metric and US standard units. Lighting units can be international or American. I'm from Europe, so I use metric. Lighting in units also international. Okay. The other thing we must make sure that is checked is to have the gamma value of 2.2. That is very important, because the results won't be good if the gamma isn't 2.2. Next thing we must do is to enable hardware shading under lighting and shadows. Here. We must illuminate the scene with scene lights, enable hardware shading, all viewports this is an option enable shadows soft shadow use the environment background color this is important en enable exposure control in viewport and that would be... Can you be a star? Okay. Can After the successful the setup, we can finally create light. It must be photometric, it's otherwise the results won't be what we are expecting. Free light, select yes. It means that you have mental ray photographic exposure control in the scene enabled. But when we create the light, you will see that other than illumination, there are no shadows. That will be fixed when you enable the shadows and when you use shadow map which is in my case global setting for this scene as you can see lighting and shadows respond automatically as you move the light around the scene After the light is created and set up, there are tons of settings that you can change. For example, stadium lamp, move it, street lamp, other settings like shape and area of shadows, emitting light from point, line, rectangle, disc, sphere, cylinder, 
All those settings can be changed. But I will leave it as they are. Because the most important thing of this showcase is and lies in these settings under the mental ray photographic exposure control and exposure control itself. You can use pseudo color exposure control. That is the most useful option in this showcase which will show us the illuminance or the luminance of the scene we can change presentation from color to grayscale we can scale the logarithmic or linear graduation of light as you can see we can adjust the maximum value say 1500 or even higher 5000 When we make it linear, we can see a greater difference. Color. You can see the how you can see how the distribution affects the light as you can see here. If we change that to say elegant spotlight or some other bulbs, we will have completely different result and the result is that you cannot even see the cubes so we must lower the maximum value to say let's put 100 and now you can see the red area is the most intense lighting and falls off to blue as you can see you can play with this setup 500. get the results you need very powerful tool for analyzing the light to create the better work environment for the workers and whatever the purpose of the light analysis is in your case This is very, very, very advanced and very interesting and very useful also. Thank you for watching this. And goodbye.